Good morning guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a flip through of um, the first of my Beautiful Blooms collection um, that I've been working on, which is basically celebrating summer, uh, these little mini journals. Um, so this so far consists of this little beauty, which I've called Wild Flowers and Roses. Um, I've also put together this little one here, which I've called Right, and this Daphne's Diary covered um, journal as well, which is called Playing in the Garden. But what I'll be doing is actually, um, I'll film them separately, so the videos aren't too long, and I'll link the, oh, so I'll start with this one, and I'll try and link the others down below, so it's not too hard to find them. So first and foremost, as I said, this little mini journal is a repurposed uh, book cover and it's called, um, it actually it's called Wildflowers at a Glance, I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely gorgeous, I love the colour on it, and um, I called it Wildflowers and Roses because when I started to choose the papers for it, most of the papers I really liked with this one were um, rose themed from a little... Um, a dress book that I picked up at a charity shop um, so that's why I've called it Wild Flowers and Roses I don't know if you can see that so I've left it as it is the measurements are uh, it's 17.5 centimeters long and 11 centimeters wide and it has two signatures and I've lace covered the spine in lace on this one and I've just done a little mini journal as well this little um, with some of the scraps from this so these, that goes with it so I've actually covered the spine with lace, with beautiful red lace, and I've popped a little, um, uh, little vintage linen -y piece um, with the rose brad um, on the front. Um, and this little piece here is from my stash, but I've actually shared some in my um, a little. Oh, let me see. I've shared some in my shop. I've got a little collection of fabrics and bits and pieces, crocheted pieces and linens. So if you'd like to add any of these to your, your stash, pop over and take a look. So um, I've done 68, no, 64 pages in this one. I popped a little um, crochet piece in there, which I really like. And I've just kept it quite plain for journaling, really. Not lots of fuss and pockets. Well, I've tried to. I find it really hard not to, to be honest. Um, so it's 128 size and two signatures. So going in, um, just to say, well, I just love this. I love this with the green and the rose with the green. So um, I've actually just popped in lots of bits and pieces that um, I've clipped in with these spiral paper clips that you can move around and pop where you like. Okay. Um, so I've done um, with writing space, book pages, these little clipping, the poppies. This is from the Catechist and um, writing some writing envelopes that I've picked up. Um, so I popped those in because they're beautiful. And this is from a writing set. Bit of stamping here. And these pages here, I don't know if you notice they've got the lovely green um, lines and the, the grid. They're from a little gardening journal that I picked up on the charity shop finds for planning your garden. From a book called The Scented Garden, which is beautiful, it's a lovely book. I have two, one that I was happy to share and one I'd like to keep to look at. And you can see a little bird. So it's clipped in with a teardrop, uh, teardrop, what's the name? Paper clip. bits on this one that you can see. Um, so I've got that in like so. That's what I mean. With these um these like the old airmail letters. If you, any of you old enough to remember those that you sort of wrote your, your, your letter in and then you just sort of folded it over and popped it in the post. Well they're kind of like that. That's how they're set up these um but just with a lovely cat kidston uh, pattern on it. Of that one. 
from the, from the scented garden, but I don't know if you can see how beautiful. I couldn't cut my fold of that out. And on that side we have this. Absolutely gorgeous. So, you can hear the birds. It's quite early in the morning here. I need to get up to try and do this before the day kicks off. So, in sunny Oxfordshire, it actually is sunny. I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are, but we have been enjoying some sunshine. So we've left plenty of spaces for journaling and to clip in little bits and pieces as well. A little stenciling there. Inside of the Kath Kidston. Just a little bit of stamping. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of the first signature. And I love the way the little um, doily, the crochet doily peeps out from the bottom there. I think that's really pretty. Uh, this was from the little address book again, but I love it. I love. I think it's just so so gorgeous. And I've popped a little uh, contrast on the cardstock there. And I thought that this little row went really well with the the cardstock. So I'm just being quite indulgent, celebrating summer. I used on the book about um, looking after your house plants. I just love the pages in it. With the text and little sort of green, um, green and white pictures of your plants. So that's some of the Kath Kidston writing your pieces. So you can use it for collage if you like, or write in it, and pop it into your journal, or pop it in somewhere else. It's really up to you. Uh huh. There you go. It's from that writing set again, which has got like this delicate little pattern on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Like a little fuchsia. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. It might just be a pattern. <laughs> so that's from the houseplant book. Just some different pages from my stash. It's got a real fresh, vibrant look. I love it. I love it. A little greetings card there. And then I liked this black and white sort of painting with the flower. The floral arrangement in the middle. A little one of these uh, butterflies that you can pop in where you like. And some red cardstock. And this was, um, I had this from a, a book on wallpaper, different wallpapers. And this was like um, a flock sample. Uh, I've had it in my stash for ages. And I thought it was really, really appropriate for this little project. A little bit of stamping again. But isn't that beautiful? Just such a lovely little touch of green. Uh, that's the, is that the same as that one? I think it's the same as that one. That's on the front of the uh, little address book. And so I popped it in there. So it's card. This little lady. That's from the front of, that's from the book, Scented Garden, but absolutely beautiful. And I've got some more floral journals uh, coming up that will feature more pages from that. But I love that. From the hanging basket. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's the end. Okay. And all I've done is I've actually just put some lace on the top. This isn't vintage lace. And I must admit, there's a little bit, I've got to tidy this little bit up. Just a bit of a faux pas there with my PVA. Um, but you know, it's a junk journal after all. And I just thought I'd highlight that because. A lot of my regular subscribers know that I'm a, bit, a little bit glue happy. So that's on the back. And I've just popped a little um, mini journal together to go with it. Just a little, you know, popping you. Uh, what's the word? Handbag. It's just filled with just diff different types of papers. So I haven't done anything fancy with it. But I just thought... As I was uh, popping papers together from this and I just... I liked the cardstock. So you've got a, a mixture of tea dyed and um, lined papers in this little beauty as well. So 
that's it for that one guys so this is going to be called wild flowers and roses and these two do come together um so i'll do the next one i'll do now will be right in that little companion okay and then i'll um pop the link for that and for the playing in the garden daphne's diary one i'll pop those links down below Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and also pop a link to my Etsy for the um, little vintage fabric pack, should you uh, wish to have a look at that, because it's got some of these pieces in and the fabrics that I use in the collages for the Daphne's Diary as well. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.